Well, good afternoon. Today we're going to talk a little bit about carbon dosing. And we're going to be using Bacto Balance, another wonderful product by Tropic Marin. And we're going to try to maintain that ratio that's suggested under the optimum water parameters that Tropic Marin suggests at their website. So if we look at the bottom right side of our chart here, we can see the ratio of nitrate and phosphate, and it's suggested to keep it at that healthy range of 10 to 1. So we don't want to have to do a lot of math. Tropic Marin did the math for us. So we're going to take a look at their carbon dosing chart, nutrition control and coral nutrition, and see how we could keep those numbers in that healthy range, in that green area up here, between 0.03 and 0.1 parts per million. Now, that dough balance, incredible, incredible product. It maintains that 10 to 1 ratio for us. It's actually, it's the chemist for us. It does all the chemistry for us. It does the math. So anytime that we start to see our, our numbers begin to increase and our parts per million of phosphates going up where we'd be worried about algae growing, we'd of course get our LMDMP out that's over on the right side. And that's when your numbers begin to go above 0.1 parts per million on your phosphate test. So a Lemmy AP is going to take it down. One squirt is about two and a half milliliters. I use one squirt per day per 100 gallons of water in my tank. And if it's really severe, I might do two squirts. Over about a week's period of time of treating every day, those numbers come down nice, gradually, and they come down evenly. So the back balance keeps that 10 to 1 ratio as the numbers are coming down. So it's a wonderful, healthy way to maintain that healthy range of 0 0.03 and 0 0.1 parts per million, the green healthy zone that we want to maintain in our tanks. Now, let's say that it goes the other way. Um, for whatever reason, our nutrients are running low, almost testing zero. Well, then we want to increase our nitrates and phosphates. In that case, we would use, of course, our plus MP. Our plus MP is going to do the same thing, but only in the reverse. It's going to gradually increase our nitrates and phosphates so that our water isn't completely stripped of the nutrients that the corals need. And that can happen sometimes, especially if you're running a refugium and you're running chato algae or, or a very aggressive algae in it, it could strip all the nutrients out of the water column that your corals need. In that case, you definitely want to use plus NP. Um, another thing to talk about in with our carbon dosing is maintaining the water with healthy nitrifying bacteria. In order to do that, we have to feed it. And that's what Reef Active does. Reef Active is a wonderful way of collecting all the particulates that are floating in the water column, collecting them, get, making them available to be consumed by organisms in the tank. So using Reef Active between water changes is a great way to clean the tank, make sure all of the, the, microbiolog the microbiological filtration organisms are eating and utilizing everything that's left in the water column. And of course, it takes that tint and it keeps your tank nice and clean. Uh, wonderful maintenance. Also, Bacto pellets down here, MP Bacto pellets, um, those are a wonderful product too. You can get them mostly online. I haven't found them locally, but they also maintain your lower uh, levels of nitrates and phosphates, and they do it within a reactor. So it's a reactor medium that would go in a reactor on a slow drip reactor, and there's some wonderful instructions on Tropic Marin's website that describes how to use the outflow of the reactor to put in proximity of your skimmer to maximize the oxygen and carbon exchange when you're using those backdoor pellets. Uh, now also, so that you know, all of these products work just fine together, just fine. So you could use these two products down here, Reef Active backdoor pellets, along with your backdoor balance, your Lim EMP, your Plus MP, they all work fine together. And I would recommend that you use them together. I can't tell you how many people I've seen on the internet and doing YouTube videos that go, oh, I, I use this product, but I like Bacto Balance. This is a great product, but I use it with, you know, this. Bad idea. Bad, bad idea. If you want to get nitrifying bacteria, buy the nitrifying bacteria from, of course, Tropic Marin. Um, all you're going to do is create a battle between the bacteria in your tank. And, and it probably cloud up your tank, and, and then you're not going to wonder why you're having problems and issues. You're going to suspect everything. Um, when you stick with one product um, that's designed itself to work with all the other products that are within its, uh, its family, you do pretty good. You leave less to guessing. So when we go down here and we take a look at these, we have our back balance in the middle. Uh, it's going to balance everything to 10 to 1 ratio. When we need to add some nitrate or phosphate, we're going to use plus MP. When we need to reduce them, we're going to use a Lemmy MP. 
and twice a week or more we can use our reef active so that we can keep that tank water nice and clean and all the particulates being used by all the microorganisms in the water column and it keeps everything nice and healthy. So this is just you know a nice quick talk about how to do some carbon dosing, the Tropic Marin method. And uh, these products, just so you know, like this, I have a 100 gallon tank. This one large container of Bacto Balance will probably last me a year and a half. Um, I dose, I, I actually filled my doser up about three months ago and it's still half full and I've got all this left. So it, it lasts a very long time and it does a very good job. Um, also, just a quick note on the, the Plus MP. If you're running a refugium and you're finding yourself constantly dosing nitrates and phosphates and trace elements and you're using an all-in-one uh, like all for reef as your as your main nutrient you know uh, dosing supplement you may want to think about shutting down that refugium or getting it better under control um, it's shade algae in a refugium just strips everything out and I found myself pumping I mean three or four squirts that's about 10 milliliters 8 to 10 milliliters a day into my 100 gallon tank of the plus MP as it turns out, I was feeding the chato algae. I was feeding the chato algae. Um, when I turned out off the refugium, and when I took it apart and I took the chato algae out, I started dosing Lemmy MP only once or twice a week, one little squirt. So three squirts a day, every day, to one little squirt once or twice a week with no refugium. So uh, it's amazing when you really back off and start rethinking what you're doing, how you could be spending a lot of money to fix something that you did to fix some other problem that's not really fixing any of it. So anyway, back to balance, great product. Uh, also a heads up, if you're dosing with something, carbon dosing, and you can't take a nice smell of it and not get sick and pass out and, and get cross-eyed or high, you probably shouldn't put it in your tank. Please don't try this with calc wall, sir. Don't, don't, don't try it with calc wall, sir. Just kidding. Anyway, uh, you can tell this stuff is natural. It doesn't smell like ammonia, doesn't smell like alcohol, denatured alcohol, and um, doesn't smell like vodka or sugar. So I hope this helps you guys. Uh, you can download this from Tropic Marin's website, the PDF. We're also going to upload it to Tropic Marin's uh, Facebook user forum and uh, to the file section. And um, wonderful stuff. I hope you enjoy it. We at Fishy Fins love Tropic Marin stuff. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of videos. Um, we're actually traveling around Florida, so if you're around Southwest Florida and you're using Tropic Marin and you either have a shop or you have a man cave or a nice pretty tank and you want to show it off, we have cameras, we'll travel, we'll come to your location, plan it with you, and do a couple of quick videos and, and, and just check out what you're doing. So let me know, just go ahead and respond to this or send me a message and uh, we'll get together and get it done. Um, love the product, love you guys, have a wonderful day, we'll see you in your fish tanks. Bye-bye.